What's up guys, I'm back, I am 63Z, and I took about half an hour break because the last one was just too scary for me. Uh, achievement unlocked. Yay! Where do we go? Do we go? You're just going around in circles. You're just going around in circles. It's a turtle! Turtle! Oh, this guy's just following me, okay. Let's keep going straight. Takes me the same way as the other way. Shit. Crap. Guess what happened in the last episode? If you didn't manage to see it, which you should go see it, it's in the actual playlist itself. Um, I got out of the place that I was in the second episode with the guy chasing after me and I got myself into an escape pod but it was out of, I don't know, it was out of juice or something like that and so I had to go find another one and I had to go into the placey place I don't need to do you though because I didn't get fucked up well, I'm going to shut you just in case, so I don't want to fucking come all the way to so. Come on, fucking move. Oh no, okay. Where am I? Is that Upsilon? Was that Lambda? I must be at Delta. Ah. Uh, Pull this shit out. Let's open the door. Let's open the door. Oh, okay. Engage manager. Messages. Some say that your crew will evacuate to the theater on the 14th. Uh, Okay, so makers. What does it do?
Toby. What happened to you? Strasky, you can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set routes. Volgen did say that you could have fixed it on your side if you need the antenna. I guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Akers is set up being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> see you soon, Brandon. Happy evac. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. Uh, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, go away. <clears throat> I want to go to that door. Go away. <coughs> no, no, this is Thank you. to be dry inside. Oh, wow. Well, that's definitely not good. The fuck happened? That's his eyes. Oh my god! Why is that his eyes? And how did maggots get down here? Underwater. Oh yuck. Something's in that. Okay, so where the fuck do I go then? Let's go this way. Oh yeah, it is. The fuck do I go? Okay, so not down there. Thanks, little man. You're stronger than you look. Oh, I just made it one huge ass circle. Great. So where the fuck do I go?
fuck do I do? Holy shit, what do I do? <coughs> Can I miss something? I need move where I needed to go, it'd be a lot easier. Yeah, have you tried? Everywhere. I've made loops. <coughs> That's all I've been doing, is making loops. Touch that. It's not a matter of like touching something does something, it's just point, click and drag. It's my little helper. I really don't know where to go. I'm hoping you're not a bad guy. Okay? You're a bad guy. <coughs> hey, could you maybe help? Oh, it's not a bad guy. I've been avoiding it this whole time. Hey, you! Help me out here, will you? It's a break. Listen. Give me some room, will you? Hey, can you hear me? Don't worry about it. I got this. Hey, you! Help me out here, will you? Yeah? You- What the fuck do I do? The other one. The other one. It's not working. Careful, Brand. Nice and easy. Can you remember 840 and 049? And 216. I think I figured out what I needed to do. Just antenna. Where the fuck is the antenna? Looks okay, right? Yeah. It'll do. <coughs> oh, there we go. That one's on its way. Got it. Right. Got it. That took forever. Okay, so what I had to do is I had to come over here and establish where I needed, what code I needed to go to. And I needed to actually go over to that place over there with that little button pusher thingy. And it 
I had to coordinate that because that moved the antenna of where the fuck the antenna is. So I could trans so I could get a transport. So I could get a transport. And I'm hoping nothing comes out and kills me. That's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course, is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use <coughs> it for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ugh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I had to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us the chip. There is I, I feel awful. The robots only appear intelligent. They're much more like dogs than humans. I wouldn't hit a dog. Sorry, a poor choice of words. I don't want to hurt anything. Well, we need a tool chip or we're stuck here. Well, I don't care, I'm not gonna hurt it. Take the stun baton from the box I opened and hunt down a robot with a working tool chip. I have no choice. Not attacking my little companion. Not attacking my little companion. I'm going to take his. Let's see, he has gone insane. Thank you. I hope this works. Oh, it's just a me. He was insane. He didn't know what he was doing. He was just wandering back and forth. You killed him. How could you do that? You should feel ashamed. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? Well, I'm we mad really at needed that chip. We, we'd be stuck bitch. here. Could you do it? Fucking kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere, present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. What a rude little bitch. I'm pouring my heart out to her and she just hurries me. What a bitch. First chance I get to throw you into a shark's mouth. I'm gonna do it. So that's how I get across. Ah. My little friendly friend is only for me. We don't have to worry though because with the dump bat, the ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I just can't 
can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, don't we're save closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Cap, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <sighs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See right, you someone not telling me everything here. I want to know. What's your name? Robin Bass. Data field service technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned. Like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <sighs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. See you later. Will do. Light is fucking huge.
fox. The Dunbat. There is nothing to go well for me. So. Console lag. Okay. Oh. oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, what? There's already blood on the floor. I'm still thinking blood. Okay. Look. Well, before I get murdered, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. It's been a long episode, and there have not a lot happened. But I made it go on a bit longer so I can make it a bit more action packed. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been the fifth episode of Soma. Uh, I'm going to pause it because that's really loud in my ears. Um, it's been the fifth episode of Soma. Uh, I'll be doing the sixth and the seventh tomorrow. And hopefully I'll be editing them so I can upload everything I've got edited. Because I've got a couple of things edited all on the Monday when I get to Aspire because my internet is at so slow right now, it's like 7 kilobytes a second for a download speed and it's just it's just so bad. Like I can't upload anything, which is why I didn't upload anything on the Wednesday last week and it's probably why I won't upload anything on the Sunday coming up as well, unless my internet gets fixed beforehand. So if you're seeing this on the Sunday, it means, you know, this got fixed or if not, then you know, it didn't get fixed as fast and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the Maddie's Life is Strange highlights. Uh, they, it gets pretty good. I saw it live in action. It was... Anyway, so thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Here we go! Oh my god!